Yo guys, how's it going? It's XGamer UK here, bringing you some Nuketown 2025 gameplay, guys, on Team Deathmatch. So, luckily my PS3 captured this gameplay, um, because obviously uh, I'm new to the PS3, so I don't know how to completely get things working yet, but... So I uh, found out the PS3 could uh, record your games, depending on like what game you're playing, if it actually records it if that game has the added feature on so uh, obviously Call of Duty has that feature so I bookmarked the game and I'm recording it off fitter mode for uh, you guys so first of all I'd like to wish you guys a Merry Christmas um, no matter if you're uh, a new viewer or an old viewer um, Merry Christmas and uh, thanks for supporting my channel with even a like or a sub it, it helps and uh, I'd also like to say thanks for my 40 subscribers at the minute um, um, a big thank you for supporting me, and uh, in return, I hope you have a really good year, so uh, good luck to you. Um, I'd like to talk a bit about Nuketown map, um, because it's different from the Nuketown map on Black Ops, because obviously it's more futuristic, and the paintings and stuff in different places, and... The new town counters different for the amount of people on the map. You've got different like vehicles and you know just a small different, but layout wise, you still got the two houses on each end of the map, and you've got the uh, bus in the middle and the two vehicles each end and the other vehicle, and obviously the spawns are in the same place because it's a small map. Um, I like this map a lot, especially when it becomes uh, twenty four seven. That's very fun. Um, I'm a, I'm missing it now. Now it's uh, not Nuketown 24/7 anymore, but it will come back again someday. Um, I don't know if I'll bring it back on for Christmas or something. Maybe for a night or so. I don't know, but uh, maybe they will. If so, that'll be a uh, cool. Um, and the kill streaks. Uh, with this RCXD here, you can obviously see it's different from the Black Ops version. It hasn't got the bomb you can see, which is obviously not on there um a uh, nice double kill with it there and the guns are pretty good some of them could uh use a bit more uh, touch up to it like the uh, lmgs could use a little bit more work on but um apart from that all the guns are good uh the pistols are pretty cool they're fun uh zombies mode i've brought you guys one or two gameplays of them so uh, Hopefully you guys have watched some of it, or maybe just skipped here and see what round we got to. Um, so, Zombies, that's pretty fun. I like playing it, but after a while I'll get bored. And hopefully I'm going to be getting FIFA 13 and Assassin's Creed 3. But uh, if you guys uh, have the games, um, would like to leave a comment. Because you guys uh, tell me what they like. So, I uh, haven't played none of those games before. I think I played FIFA 13 once on the Xbox. I can't remember, or PS3. But that was a long time ago, so hopefully you guys will uh, tell me about that, because I used to have a PS2. In fact, I still do have my PS2 downstairs set up. Um, I used to love playing GTA San Andreas. I still do love playing GTA San Andreas. It's a pretty good game for the PS2. And that was one of my main games. And uh, I used to also play Star Wars Battlefront 1, Star Wars Battlefront 2 as well. Those were the type of games I like playing. But, um, so yeah guys, uh, hopefully... You guys will stay and watch the short bit left of the video. Um, so, well, Merry Christmas and I hope you have a Happy New Year, guys. This is X Game UK here, and goodbye.